Hello everybody and welcome back to Knaveswell Farm. So as you can see, on the back of the Fent 820, we have a new but used sea drill. This is to replace the really small pottinger we had, but it's not so big that it's unrealistic for the map. We obviously can't go on bigger than this, but this is going to be absolutely fantastic for the map. Um, yeah, basically, we had a new cultivator which we bought two days ago. We bought a new plow which we bought last week. But no seed drill. We had a seed drill, but it was just so small that everything would have taken forever. So, taking the step to sell those three old pieces of equipment and replace it with a used but newer and bigger seed drill. This is the Sulky Maxi Drill. And I think this is going to fit in really well. So, we're going to first of all plant field number 10, which is the field which we've already put the herbicide on. We put herbicide B which is obviously suited for the correct crop type, which is wheat. And also we put yesterday some PK on. So, hang on, am I going the wrong way here? No, I'm not. Yeah, getting really confused. Um, yeah, so the field is actually a good place at the moment. Obviously it's going to take probably a week to get it perfect, but we're starting off okay here. Next week, we're going to have to spread some nitrogen, I think using the spreader, onto field number 10. But let's just get the crops in first of all. They have to establish a little bit, I think, otherwise it'll probably burn them. So, yeah, there's a fine line between sort of helping the crops and killing the crops. I mean, you, you can actually kill the crops using the saw moss. So, uh, yeah, you've got to be a bit careful. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a front weight there. And someone asked me to pick it up because it looks ridiculous, and I agree. It does indeed look ridiculous. So, let's get the front linkage down. Oh, we'll, we might as well just put it on the tractor now, uh, because otherwise it's going to be in the way. There we go. That looks a lot better. The reason why it's there, if you're wondering, is because that is the vehicle respawn point. If you reset something, that's where it's going to appear. The only problem with having it on there is it's obviously going to make the tractor stick out a lot more. Now I'm pretty sure that because we haven't actually planted the field yet, uh, where we've run on the field, uh, it, it won't have actually killed the crop because because this actually works as a cultivator as well, it's going to sort of wipe that and we'll start fresh. So we will have to make some new tram lines next week. But let's get this unfolded first of all. It's already set to wheat, so that is fantastic. We're going to start from this side of the field over here and work our way across. And then once this is done, we're going to continue with our barley harvest. As you can see, we do have some weeds in the field. So, yeah, we probably should have put a stronger dose of herbicide on. But it's okay. It's not too bad. Having a lot of suggestions about GPS mod as well. Really not sure about GPS mod to be honest. Uh, obviously it's very good. But as the fields on this map aren't very big, would it be worth it? It's, it's quite hard to decide. So that's why I haven't downloaded it yet. Just really trying to get to grips with soil mod first. Because it's new to me. Never done it before. So uh, yeah, got to be. Uh, I've got to be concentrating on soil mod first of all I think. Yep, there are the weeds. Actually, it might cultivate the weeds in. It has. So hopefully, that sort of is going to kill them off temporarily, and the herbicide might prevent them from regrowing. With a bit of luck, it will do. Uh, so yeah, we're actually in quite a good position so far. The field is looking relatively healthy. It's still in the starting off stages though, so if something's going to go wrong, it still potentially could do. It's getting dark, 
we're going to have to skip the night time. If anyone does know the answer to this, then I'd love to know. We've obviously got Withering automatically switched on, because you can't turn it off with Soil Mod. Uh, so, do you know if the crops will wither during the night if I speed up time? Because I don't want to be doing everything in pitch black, and obviously we're going to be sleeping naturally. So I don't want things to, to I don't want to lose the crops uh, just by naturally sleeping, because uh, obviously we need to skip to the next morning very soon. So if anyone knows the answer to that, I would love to know. Now this is going to have to be, it's going to need water, whether it's by the rain or by our sprayer. Uh, because if you, well, for example, if it rains heavily all day, it's going to saturate the field. If we have already sprayed it, it's going to be a total disaster. Like the seed will rot probably. So we need to keep an eye on the forecast. This is actually the first time we're going to actually cared about the forecast on Farming Simulator because usually it's totally irrelevant really it doesn't mean a, lo a lot unless it's raining so you can't harvest you're not normally going to look at this but looking at the outlook um it's hot it's actually pretty hot so i think we might actually have to spray this next week with water to get it to germinate otherwise we might be having a few issues well, that's looking okay it's not perfectly straight, but by the end it'll be fine. And the good thing is, the seed has cost us a lot of money. A, an awful lot of money. Uh, because we don't have much money in the first place. But, because it's got a big capacity, although we're spending a lot of money in one go, which is quite hard on the farm, it's going to spread over a lot of fields. So we'll probably get maybe four or five fields out of this seed drill. Maybe even more, if they're small ones. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's a big load of money in one go, but in the end, it'll probably make it easier because we won't have more expenses going out. We'll be able to keep an eye on these things better. Anyway, we are getting closer to the end. Just got to concentrate. Don't want to miss nothing. You can see all the the granules of the phosphorus. Is it? It is. I think it is, yeah. The PK that we spread. Yeah, it'll be uh, phosphorus and potassium because the N will be nitrogen. Yeah. A little bit bumpy this field, but it's okay. Also regarding a front loader, or telehandler for that matter, uh, yeah, we we do need to get something, but I've had an idea. Pretty sure this 820, although it might look a bit strange with a front loader, pretty sure it can take a front loader. So while we're sort of generating the money to get a telehandler, I think the best thing to do would be just to buy one for this and use this as the front loader. Also, um, reading the comments about the big bag mod, I remember that from FS09, and I didn't realise it was still being used in 15 which is basically where you can fill up the spreader using a front loader having a bag of fertilizer um, like real life. Uh, so yeah, I would love to see a link to that because I searched it and I couldn't actually find anything. But a lot of people were referencing it so I'm, I can only assume that it does exist for 15. Because that really would add re realism to these videos. I'd love to do that. Just going up this side and then we will be done for the main bit, then we just have to do the headlands and that will be field complete. One thing you've got to be careful of is you can't turn the seed drill off and then drive up to the other end because your tracks will remain and the crop will not grow where you've driven. So you've got to keep the seed drill on. It's okay though because it doesn't use any seed. It's absolutely fine. But I've got to say, absolutely love the Saw mod. It is so good. It's a brilliant mod. Just make sure we don't miss anything down here. 
Yeah, I didn't go quite to the edge. And then we'll do the bottom area. And that'll be field 10 planted. I'm not going to say complete. It used to be, before we were running soil mod, it would literally just be throw a load of manure on it or throw a load of fertiliser on it, plant it, and you're done. But no, this, uh, this certainly adds a lot more work to the field, which is good. Absolutely love that. Soil moisture is yet to go down, but that is a good thing. I don't want it to go down. It's actually at the optimum level now. Just got to mine the barbed wire. A little bit left. And there we go. So the field is now planted. So this can go back to the yard, we'll also take the fence back as well, we don't need the fence here. Um, in fact that will be it for the fence this episode because we're going to go back to the dominator and the doit extractor. We're going to swap the trailer, it's going to cost, actually it might not cost too much because we're going to sell the old one and the new one isn't that much bigger. So yeah, it shouldn't be too much. We're actually buying all the machinery used as well because it's a lot cheaper that way. Let's just go in cab because I can see a bit better. Oh, actually, thinking about it, we've got the seed drill. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the grass track down here. Because it feels so weird driving on a ploughed field continually. We'll start it at the gate and just head down to the other gate. This should look way better. I shouldn't really have ploughed to the edges. I didn't think. I didn't think to do that. That's the problem. go in here should be good there we go so how does that look oh yes so much better that will grow in fact it'll all grow so brilliant we've finally got a track to the field we have wasted a tiny bit of land but really it's not that much so it's all fine right let's get these rear lights switched off because we're going on the road we get back into the tractor. Fold that up again. There we go. And we will return to this field next week for the next application of nitrogen. Better just shut the door because it's going to get snapped off. Bay it can go into. Should be good. The mower is in there, so not ideal, but still. It won't be staying here too long. We've got another field to do very soon. And the tractor can go into here. Good. So, yeah, over to the Deutzfahr. Let's just shut this tractor down. So yeah, this tractor is pretty good. It's it's not a bad tractor. I do quite like it, but I don't particularly like the size of the trailer. It's just a bit too small. So, over to the stop to the shop again. <laughs> to the stop. Yeah, over to the shop. Let's go and buy a, a brand new trailer, but it's not gonna be too big. It's also gonna be a mod. 
because uh, if we were to get loads of big trailers there wouldn't be space for them it would also be much harder to manoeuvre them and we'd have to use the biggest tractor all the time which we can't really do because it has to be on the cultivator the plough or the seed drill which is the fence job the fence will probably always do those three jobs the, those big jobs and then our other two tractors will be able to do the smaller jobs now obviously taking this to the shop will allow us to get maximum money for the previous trailer which we really need to do we can't be just wasting money willy-nilly we have to make sure we get everything we possibly can do the trigger is just here so we'll put the trailer into there and we'll sell that and then we'll buy the new trailer now the new trailer was actually in the mod contest but I've never used it you see £4,320. Not exactly great. But it's okay because the new trailer is a used trailer and it's also not that big. Uh, it should be in here. We've got a lot of trailers actually. Here we go. The Marshall trailers. These were in the mod contest. They're fairly universal. You can you can put quite a lot of different crop types in them. Also got the silage one because that's going to be very handy very soon. But the grain one is the one we need first of all. £6,000. Pretty good price. Here it is, and I think that is a lot more fitting for the map. So, let's get that on the tractor, and then we'll be able to get the harvester going again. Right, I think we're going to have to spin around in here. Back to the field. So yeah, it is getting late. We can't be continuing too long because it'd be totally dark. And then I start to get those comments about people not being able to see the screen. Some people are fine because obviously they might be watching on a PC. They can put the brightness up. But people, well, not all people, but some people on a mobile device, they tend to complain about the brightness. Not everyone, but a few. Also, I have put the sound up. I didn't realise. I thought the combine yesterday was really loud because my headphones are set to a certain volume, um, which I don't tend to adjust. And uh, yeah, it was in the end very quiet, which is a bit weird. But still, I've put the volume up by 10%. Here we are at the field. Let's get this combine harvester going again. And there is the trailer. Pretty good looking actually. I do like that. It's smaller than the Marshall trailer DLC pack uh, trailer. Uh, but it's still, uh, you know, it's, it's a good size. Good for the map. What would it be? 8 tons? Would that be 8 tons? No idea. Uh, it's not very big though. So this harvester has been here since yesterday's episode. We are going to continue today. We're not going to do too much on the recording, but um, yeah, we're going to do some. The rest I'm going to do out of the video. And then by next week it should all be completed. Yeah, it's that annoying light where it's hard to decide whether or not to put the headlights on or not. Because sometimes you can just get this glare, and then um, other times it doesn't really do much. Yeah, do we need them on? Don't think we do. It's not quite dark enough. We are, of course, going to be going up and down the field now, though. What I'm going to do is... Well, it'd be much better once we've actually got some of the soil mod fields done because there'll, there'll be tram lines in them from the sprayer. Uh, so we'll be going down the tram line. But at the moment, just going to be cutting across a third of the field probably. And then sort of still going around in a circle, but not going around the outskirts. didn't realise the combine was already half full. I 
and you can already see we're fitting way more than in than we used to before it was I think 52% per combine load now it's only 32 way better anyway we don't want the worker that was just temporary we're now going to go across a bit I think to about here I would say because of the angle of the field it's going to be quite difficult to see exactly where we're going if we're going the right angle across the field I think we are looking at the minimap Yep, yeah, aim for the house, that, that should work. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, so here we are, we're almost breaking through the other side. I think what we'll probably do is fill the trailer twice and then the rest I'll do um, out of the video instead of doing it on the video hang on yep because uh, yes it's gonna probably get a little bit repetitive to watch and it is quite a big job with the Dominator these are humble beginnings we are gonna have to use the small equipment to start off with although yeah it's still gonna be quite small at the end it's just gonna be newer Still very nice to use the old stuff though. Once again, let's go and unload the combine harvester. It's 82% full. Yes, it's getting darker now. Right, we're 71% full. If we position it halfway down the field, we'll be able to unload 29% into it and it'll be full. And we'll be able to take it straight off. We're losing that really nice fiery sunset. It's just going to be dark. So it's going to have to be morning next time, I think. Whether the fields wither or not. They shouldn't wither, though. Because if you look at the field status map... Well, for a start, I don't think the crops grow in the night anyway, so they shouldn't wither. And also, they don't seem to be on their darkest ready-to-harvest setting mode there. They seem to be on the earliest, and surely it builds up between them, then goes pink to withered. I would have thought. You know, you'd have thought with, I don't know, two, 3,000 hours of gameplay I've done on this game... You would have thought I would know whether it withers in the night or not. It's because I always turn withering off, but nope, I don't know that, so I'm going to have to rely on my good old subscribers. Oh no, sorry, good young subscribers. Ah, it's too far away. Shuffle forwards a bit. Surprising. I thought I would fill it. Well, that should be enough to fill the trailer, surely. We're just going to top this up by 20%. We'll be able to get most of it out of the harvester, you'd hope. And we're going to tip it, come back, and it looks like we'll probably get this, this block finished off today that we've just 
separated from the rest of the field. Usually I'm okay at unloading alongside the harvesters because for some reason the, uh, the grain comes out at quite an angle. It's quite hard to estimate where it's going to be. But that is 100%. Let's go into the trailer. to the field for the final load. It's getting really dark now. The only thing about using this tractor is you can't put the big work spotlights on at the back, I don't think. Okay, we have pretty much lost all of the light. There is not a lot left, uh, so it's making it very hard to see. It's alright in cab, but exterior, you can't see a lot. But the way this has been done is a lot better, I have to say this really, it's a lot better than a standard map because um, yeah, when it goes dark, it doesn't really go dark. And to be honest, in the past I've mistaken it to be daylight in the night. So yes, it doesn't go dark enough. This is perfect. Obviously, if the moon if it's a full moon and it's out, yeah, it's gonna be quite bright. But usually, well, if if it's cloudy or if there's no moon at all, or just a crescent, um yeah, it's pretty dark. So I think, as it's getting pretty late now, when we get back to the traction trailer, we're going to unload, and we will call this a day. If you think about it, it's been a busy day. We've done everything in the same day. That's including all the Unimog work. You can just about see the tractor over there, left the headlights on, in case we lose it. And yeah, we're going to call it a night. The moisture of the crop should be going up as well. It's a dewy night. I don't think, I'm not sure if this harvester has a light on the auger. I don't think it does. We just have to use the tractor's light. It is unloading. But once that is empty, let's switch the engine off. Put the auger in first. And that would be the dominator's work done.
Now for the tractor and trailer. Let's just head over to the yard. We'll leave this in the yard overnight. And, yep, that'll be it. Yep, this is where not having rear lights is going to be a real problem. Yep, this tractor has nothing. Okay, well, yeah, I can't see the beams for the shed. Should have brought the fence. Oh, hang on. Honestly, I can't see a thing. Oh. This is guesswork. Appeared. There we go, that would do. So there we go, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It was a bit dark, but yeah, we got the job halfway done, I think. But yeah, until next week, see you again soon. Bye for now.